today I'm going to be a scary henna artist. I found that at work, because I've been really scary, um, I'm scaring people away. So I'm going to be an undercover scary henna artist today. So I've got my really nice dress on. Sorry. Good idea. And then I've got this. So <laughs> I'm going to... I'm gonna cover my face today like this. That's so funny. But I'll pin them back. Do, 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 do. And then underneath, I'm gonna have a scary mouth. So I've outlined, I'll, <laughs> so I have outlined in white where my mouth is gonna be. I have some false nails, so these are gonna be my teeth. The lightweight as well, so that's a good idea. And some liquid latex. That's good. Make sure you patch test yourself yeah. first. Mm, I'm going to be using these cotton pads um, for my to attach the teeth with. Um, but first, I'm going to paint my mouth black, so the back needs to be black. Yeah, if you paint your mouth black, then behind the teeth it'll already be black, so you don't have to re try and paint behind the teeth black you have to just paint it black before i'm not too fussed about symmetry because i'm going to be sticking things on top this is a black background i've already protected my skin using vaseline so i put a layer of vaseline on into my skin and let that set settle for about five ten minutes before painting this on but the vaseline is really good to protect your skin from the liquid latex especially your face hairs when it comes to removing your makeup you don't want it to hurt when you remove it because it could it will pull out your face hairs the hairs on your face will leave your face so if you protect your skin with just some vaseline or petroleum jelly then um nice bit of protection. Look at that. Just filling them bits in. Yeah, Vaseline is like a great barrier. So now I'm dabbing on some liquid latex onto the top teeth area using my finger, applying a false nail, leaving it to dry a little bit before I put the cotton on top. I've wet my cotton and I'm just applying it and just securing the fake nails down onto my face to light teeth. The fluffier the cotton, the easier it is to sculpt with. Um, use the tips of your fingers. I like to use the tips of my fingers because it's you don't want to cover your whole hand in latex. Just keep cleaning your fingers after each application because then it'll make the other application a lot easier. So now I'm layering up the cotton again and just blending it into the teeth and blending it into my face. Sticking them on. It's very repetitive. Just blending it very thinly. The cotton is rather thick, so use it sparingly. Oh my God, what have you done? <laughs> right, I stuck them all on. So to get, to blend your edges at the, see how I blend my edges at the top, the best way I can. And I'm gonna do the same on the bottom. So just uh, apply a layer of latex just to stick, stick them all. Dude, this is too funny. This is so funny. This is the most difficult bit to get sticky. Take some fluffy, fluffy bits of fluff, stick them on top. That's a nice way to blend out your edges by applying fresh cotton and then just blending it in with a very little amount of latex. And then just blend them in using a cotton pad. Cotton buds are amazing. You can use them for anything. You don't even need to buy application applicators or brushes. Cotton buds are awesome. It's blending that nicely. Careful not to let the cotton buds stick to the cotton because you could either end up with a cotton bud on your face or a face on your cotton bud. 
Oh, would you like a henna? <laughs> Just allow that latex to dry. Once it has dried, I'm gonna powder it. Powder over your latex to stop it from getting sticky and to help it set. Applying a bit of foundation. Apply your foundation with a foundation brush. You can get into all the little nooks and crannies dead easily. Dabbing motions rather than streaking motion. Dabbing helps with the blending. Here I'm using coffee body paint to shade where my teeth are into, into my face just to make it look grimy and horrible. You can see the roots, so these are, I'm basically painting the teeth roots, the gums, that's it. Up and down, up and down, and the bottom teeth, it's like the first initial part of the shade. I have no blood, um, so I'll apply blood later on today when I get hold of some. And I'll show you what it looks like with blood. I'll do like some sort of Instagram post. So I'd add blood at the side here and the side here and coming down some of the air. And it paint the teeth. Yellow teeth, tiger, tiger yellow. This is tiger yellow from Chameleon and I'm painting the false nails yellow so they look, they match my dress and they look really cool. Now I'm shading using black eyeshadow, I'm just shading just to give it more definition and to make it the highlights stand out. It just makes it more shapey, you can see the shape a bit better. Now I'm adding black body paint on the insides of the gums and the insides of the teeth. And again, just to define the shape of the teeth and to make the hollow parts ultra hollow. Today is going to be so awesome now. Today is going to be Of artists that do like head and body art and face paint. Don't you gonna make me laugh so hard? <laughs>